The UK submarine fleet consists of two main types, five Astute-class nuclear-powered attack submarines and four Vanguard-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The Vanguard class provides the UK's nuclear deterrent with its Triton missiles, while the Astute class handles conventional warfare. Both classes are nuclear-powered, and the Vanguard class is being replaced by the new Dreadnought-class SSBNs, with the first submarines of this new class under construction. The Royal Navy currently operates nine submarines, including five Astute-class conventionally armed nuclear-powered attack vessels. The Astute class is Britain's largest and most advanced fleet of submarines. The remaining four are Vanguard-class ballistic missile submarines, which carry the UK's Triton nuclear missile system. A new group, the Dreadnought class, will be introduced in the early 2030s. These will be both nuclear-powered and ballistic missile armed. How many submarines will the UK have in the future? Two further Astute-class submarines, HMS Agamemnon and HMS Agincourt, are set to enter service in late 2025 and late 2026 respectively. The Royal Navy's sixth Astute-class attack submarine, HMS Agamemnon, commissioned last month, has completed a three-day trim dive a series of tests to confirm the integrity of the pressure hull. This is the first time a submarine is fully submerged, one of the most important commissioning milestones for a new boat. Over three days, the 7,400-ton boat was carefully tested for stability, watertight integrity, and buoyancy. During the tests, 30 of the boat's crew and engineers from BAE Systems verified that the submarine's internal weight was correctly balanced and its systems functioned as designed. The trials also allowed calibration of sensors and fine-tuning of ballast settings to ensure precise underwater handling before sea trials commence. 16 tons of lead weights were moved from side to side on trolleys inside the boat to establish Agamemnon's center of gravity. Modern inclinometers are used to record the submarine's motion throughout, but movement is also still measured by hand using pendulums hung between decks, a method used by naval architects since the 1700s. BAE's workforce in Barrow has expanded rapidly to meet the scale of the submarine order book, growing from around 10,700 people in 2023 to more than 15,000 today, with plans to reach 17,000 in the next few years. The successful trim dive marks another step in sustaining Britain's sovereign nuclear submarine design and build capability, an industrial and strategic asset unique to the UK and vital to the nation's security. The Astute class are the largest and most advanced attack submarines ever built for the Royal Navy. Astute leads the way with many technological firsts the first Royal Navy submarine not to be fitted with optical periscopes instead high-specification video technology is used to scan the horizon and the class are the quietest ever made. The Royal Navy's Astute-class submarines are cutting-edge nuclear-powered attack subs known for their advanced stealth, endurance, and firepower. They can circumnavigate the globe submerged, recycling air and water for theoretically unlimited endurance. Their quiet operation, enhanced by 39,000 anti-acoustic tiles, rivals the noise of a baby dolphin. With Tomahawk cruise missiles, spearfish torpedoes, and the powerful Sonar 2076 suite, they deliver unmatched offensive and detection capabilities. Designed with modern technologies like video periscopes and dry deck shelters for special forces deployment, the Astute class is among the world's most capable submarines, second only to US counterparts. The Astute class are among the most capable submarines in service today. Each boat is equipped with world-leading sensors, carries Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles and spearfish heavyweight torpedoes, and can circumnavigate the globe submerged, producing its own oxygen and drinking water. Only the US Navy can match these underwater warships. The Astute class subs are the only ones outside the US Navy able to launch the Tomahawk, a capability that truly sets them apart. Each of the Royal Navy's nuclear-powered Astute-class fleet submarines has been outfitted with many technological firsts, high-specification video technology has been employed, which enables the crew to scan the horizon and get a 360-degree view to address any potential threat. In addition, unlike other nuclear-powered submarines, the Astute-class was developed to utilize state-of-the-art anti-acoustic tiles, 
Each hull is fitted with more than 39,000 acoustic tiles that mask the vessel's sonar signature and allow the submarines to glide through the water almost silently. The little noise the boats give off has been compared to that of a baby dolphin. The fleet attack submarines are powered by a Rolls-Royce PWR2 reactor and fitted with a pump jet propulsor, the same reactor that was developed for the Royal Navy's Vanguard-class ballistic missile submarines. That particular nuclear reactor, which powers the submarines and has a 25-year lifespan before needing to be refueled, is also used to recycle air and water. It provides a theoretically unlimited endurance for the submarine and can circumnavigate the globe without surfacing. Each of the boats is typically supplied with about 90 days of food. As deployments on the submarines can vary in length, with overall assignments lasting three years, two full crews rotate shifts to allow the vessel to remain at sea for as long as possible. Crews may serve between 60 and 80 days before resurfacing and rotating out. The Astute-class submarines have stowage for 38 weapons and typically carry a mix of Spearfish Heavy Torpedoes and Tomahawk Block 4 cruise missiles, with the latter capable of hitting a target within a few meters, to a range of 1,600 kilometers. The missiles can be also redirected at a new target mid-flight. Each of the boat's Spearfish Heavyweight Torpedoes which are nearly 2 tons can further attack targets up to 14 miles away which can increase to 30 miles at low speed and is capable of blowing an enemy submarine clean out of the water. Guided by either copper wire or inbuilt sonar, the Spearfish delivers 660 pounds of explosive charge either when it impacts with the intended target or via an acoustic proximity fuse underneath. For detecting enemy vessels, the Astute-class submarines are equipped with Sonar 2076 and integrated passive active search and attack sonar suite with bow, intercept, and towed arrays. BAA Systems is also constructing four Dreadnought-class boats in partnership with the wider Defense Nuclear Enterprise. The Dreadnought vessels, due to enter service from the early 2030s, are the replacement for the Vanguard-class submarines, which currently deliver the continuous at-sea deterrent for the Royal Navy. The critical role underpins the nation's defense as the ultimate security guarantee and sees at least one of the boats deployed in an unknown location at sea every minute of every day.